interest on the iPhone SE 2020, the number two version. It's currently at 720p, 30 frames a second. Do you know what? Let's go over here, get some shadows in, see how well it does. The greens are a bit vibrant, a bit saturated, but yeah, not too bad. Okay, we're in 1080, 30 frames a second landscape. Let's zoom in on those pigeons over there. Walk in, stabilization is good. This has got optical image stabilization, electronic image stabilization as well. Doing quite well at the moment. Let's go down and zoom in. On this 1080 30 frames a second doing quite well let's switch it up to 1080 60. okay we're now in 1080 60 frames a second just zooming in on this to get some detail 1080 60. so a nice detail it's nice and smooth let's bring it over here on some pebbles nice detail bring it on a plant and yeah zoom in test focus in test i mean incredibly smooth and incredibly good at focusing on products product <laughs> objects i mean and yeah let's go to 4k24 okay guys we're now in 4k resolution at 24 frames a second it's a bit choppy actually and a bit slow in the actual recording but we'll see what it's like when we're playing it back so 4k 24 frames a second still incredibly incredibly smooth like for focusing wise still incredibly smooth on focusing incredible dynamic range is just absolutely brilliant let's go to 4k 30 okay we are in 4k 30 frames a second focusing test it's doing very well it's a bit smoother but what you want to do is go to 4k 60 if it's very important what you're filming incredibly fast the colors are very accurate as well Apple have always had the more natural colours. It's got great shadow depth. Colours are absolutely perfect and accurate. It's great. Colours again are fantastic. Zoom in test six times, I believe, on max. I'm walking, by the way, so it's a bit unstable, but if I stop, then it's a bit better. 4k 30 frames a second let's zoom in on this see how it does a bit of shadow the sun is directly in front of me it's doing quite well you'll find a good camera when you're pointed at the sun and it controls it well that's literally pretty much it so yeah it's doing really well actually to be honest so let's go to 4k 60. okay guys we are in 4k resolution at the maximum 60 frames a second colors are still very accurate actually the trainers i have on yeah the colors are really accurate okay 4k 60 frames a second doing very very nice incredibly smooth let's just go in on this quickly zoom in on this really quick i'm raising my voice a bit because i don't know if it's going to pick it up as well the detail is absolutely fantastic if you're getting this phone yeah and recording 4k 60 on this smartphone on this apple iphone se and you're going to be playing it back on a 4k monitor or even an 8k monitor wow it's going to be fantastic apple i think personally has the best 4k video the best video in like literally end of ipad that's my opinion someone else might have a different opinion but i personally think that their 4k video and pretty much all their video is absolutely perfect with colors accuracy shadows it's a bit bit vibrant actually mm. it's doing quite well actually to do that but it's, yeah, eh, they could do a bit better the a13 bar chip is trying but as you can see when you're going from a dark background like those trees over there 
and then you go directly onto the light floor. It's very, um, it's trying its best, but it's a, basically. It's trying its best, but you know, it could be a bit better on the, you know, transition, if you know what I mean. Okay, guys, we're at, we're at 720p, 30 frames a second, a light walk. It's quite cho choppy, to be honest. Quite choppy, and it's a little bit lagging, actually. But let's go for a light jog and see how it goes. I'm just gonna continue talking. We're gonna go into a shady, a, sh a shady area. Do you know what? I just noticed something on the screen. That, they're doing a really good job of that. Look at the detail in the shadow, like the colors. It's great. Like everything is fantastic. I just walked past that, well, I jogged past that. And I was like, they're nailing it. Literally nailing the color accuracy and everything. It's incredible. Like the A13 chip, Bionic chip is doing fantastic. Especially when you go into a, a smaller, like more narrow area with, you know, less sunlight. It's doing really well, actually, considering. Considering it's 420 quid, <laughs> you know, that's really good. Details, absolutely excellent. Let's zoom in on the horizon. That is maximum zoom at six times, I believe. You can hear the crickets. Okay, guys, we're at 1080, 30 frames a second now. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite resolution is and at what frame rate and why. I'm always interested to see what you guys use as your frame rate and your resolution, resolution and frame rate. So 1080 may sound a little bit out of breath because I was just doing some jogging. Yeah, we're just gonna do a bit of focusing quickly. Try to make it as even as possible. It's incredible focus, literally it's the best. Let's switch it up to 1080, 60 frames. 1080p, 60 frames of res resolution. Okay, let's go zoom in on this quickly. Do you know what, let's look at my, let's look at my shoes. See the detail. The color accuracy is fantastic. It's like they're like, I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's slightly over sharpened. I don't know if that's me, but. It looks a little bit over sharpened, but the color accuracy and the contrast is great. Maybe it's just that A13 processor just doing a fantastic job. The detail is great at 1080, 60 frames. I personally, for all my videos, as in like, you know, if I was gonna be outside recording those moments that you need to record, I'll be doing 1080, 60, because 4K 60 is great, but it kills the storage. It literally eats through it. So let's go for a light jog quickly. 1080, 60 frames a second. Trying to keep the phone as still as possible as I'm doing this. Yeah, it's doing well. It's doing quite well indeed. A light jog, very quite light jog. Doing well. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's have a look at the horizon. Colors are doing great. Let's zoom in on this thing down here. Now, actually, that is a, yeah, yeah, actually, do you know what? It's not picking up the detail because of the amount of sunlight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the item that you're focusing on, and I'm gonna slide down a little bit, and then it'll be able to focus on it, focus in on it. Okay, cool. Why isn't it focusing? Cool, okay, it's focusing now. <laughs> Had it on the auto focus mode by accident um no manual mode i mean uh yeah cool so it's doing really well let's zoom in on the horizon colors are still accurate and everything it's doing pretty good let's swap it up to 4k okay guys 4k 24 frames a second it's quite choppy um yeah um uh, i noticed that um right now i've noticed right now that um it's quite choppy. I wouldn't recommend doing 4K 24 frames a second unless, unless you're just doing film work in like YouTube as in like, you just got the camera still and you're not doing a lot of movement. I wouldn't recommend using 4K 24 frames if you're just doing this, having going for a jog or something, or, or you know, it's a bumpy, you know, scene around. I wouldn't really use 4K 24. You gotta do 4K 60, otherwise it's gonna look terrible. Terrible, terrible when you're playing it back. Um, but details still really good at 4K24. Let's zoom in on this quickly. Focus again is perfect. 
because you expect it. It's great. I expect it to be great for an Apple product. It's incredible. I'll go on to something else. It's like perfect every single time. Okay, Let's guys, go. we are doing 4K 30 frames a second now. A bit more, a bit smoother, but still a bit choppy, in my opinion. Um, if you're buying this phone for the camera, then definitely do so. Because, personally, for 419 I think that's awesome. Three, 399 in the US, starting price of 64 gigs. I personally would get like spend the extra 100 and get the 128 version. Details are great. Yeah, it's absolutely, yeah, 4K 30 frames a second. It's focusing really well, really well indeed, guys. If you're getting this for a video, video camera or for photography, ah, oh, can't speak for photography. Get those, get those words out. <laughs> then yes, so I found a, found an ant quickly. Let's see if it's got enough detail to pick up that ant up. Where's the ant gone? Where was that ant gone? Just about getting the detail to see that ant. Lost it. Damn it. Okay, let's get back into the test. Okay, let's go for a nice jog. So yeah, 4K30, doing well, doing well. Let's go onto the horizon quickly. Gonna make this as quick as possible. Colors are still very accurate, very accurate indeed. Apple will make the colors great. And let's go to 4K60. Okay guys, all you've been waiting for is this moment, 4K. 60 frames a second you've been waiting for this moment so now i'm going to give it to you 4k 6d let's go do you know what let's go right here zoom in colors are great loads of light this is a shady area as you can see um it's doing very well to control the transition very very well indeed actually details great ah oh, do you know what it's so nice 4k 60 is well worth it so if you're gonna do a lot of 4K60 video, I recommend getting the, at least the 128 gigabyte version because your storage is gonna just disappear within probably a couple of months, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's really good on the focusing. Let's go on to the walking test. And let's go for a nice jog. 4K60, nice, nice light jog. Reason why I'm going a little bit faster on the 4K60 is because it's 4K60, so the extra frames will give it that side to keep it nice and stable. I, I hope when I'm playing this back. Let's do that. Test it out. See how good it is. Yep, yeah, that's doing nice and well. Let's zoom in on some more rocks. Do you know what? You can't go wrong, as I've already said in the video. Focusing is a plus literally a plus let's zoom in on this colors are perfect literally maybe a little bit maybe a little bit too much of the golden because it's not that golden real light in real life it's more of like a pale brown so maybe just that in a couple of updates hands skin tone they're doing really well brings out the detail a lot that's doing well yeah good colors very accurate, not too vivid at all. It's perfect. Let's see if it picks up on that. Don't know if it's gonna, cause that's a very small object. Uh, no, it's not gonna pick up on that. That's a shame, unless you tap, tap on it to focus, obviously, and then it will. No, oh, it's struggling a bit here. Ooh, that's, that's not too good for the reviews. Why is it struggling? Come on, we've got to get it. Okay, it's not working. Let's go to something else. Um, my phone just fell out of my pocket. That's just awesome. Hope I haven't cracked the camera lens. S10 Plus. No, I'm good. Okay, that's a good sign. Um, so, yeah. Details are great. 4K, 60 frames a second is awesome. Literally just perfect. Why isn't it focusing? That's just weird. But anywho doing well now maybe it's just the beta or like software or something um yeah it's doing it's doing well if you want to focus manually on something you just gotta tap on the thing and then scroll it down to adjust the brightness and stuff but yeah 
possible. Doing very I'm going well. up to this, going up to this, yeah? Tap on the screen, make it focus on that. As soon as you pull away, it should automatically go into, you know, the automatic focus, but it's not as you can see, because it's just not clear. So then you've got to tap on the screen again to make it go into automatic focus. I think they need to change that personally. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, 1080p. 30 frames a second on the front facing camera. Doing very well at the moment, as you can see. Um, yeah, so it's doing very well. We're in portrait mode. I'm gonna swap over to landscape in a second. You can see the detail in the background. It's doing quite well, actually. Yeah, so that's pretty damn cool. Let's swap over to the landscape mode. So landscape, 1080p, 30 frames a second. Sunlight, literally pretty much the same. Yeah. Scenery, doing well. So let's see if that's pretty much it. Let's get the clouds in the background. Wait, what angle would that be at? It'd be there, there you go. Okay, so it turns out you can do 720p. One sec, let me just do my hair. It turns out you can do 720p on the front facing camera at 30, 30 frames a second. Um, yeah, so a little bit less resolution, but you'd, in the long run get a bit more storage but not too much personally i'll just take the sacrifice and go for the 1080p version but your choice so portrait let's test out landscape okay guys we are in 720p 30 frames a second in landscape do you know what let's go for a let's go for a nice jog downhill test out the stabilization on the yep nice jog Test out the stabilization on the front facing camera. Ooh, it's quite deep. So let's see, let's show you guys what you're looking at. Downhill, and then, um, then I'll... That's what the front facing camera is like. Okay, let's go back. Woo. We're in a shady area now. It's doing well. It's doing really well in colors. And a little bit of yellow tint to my face, but it's doing well. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Awesome, let's do some Let's do some more videos. Okay, guys, we are, well, clearly it's night time right now. 1080p, 30 frames a second, and we're just gonna be doing a night time test on this green area. It's a bit cold, so if, if I'm talking a bit weird, you know why, because it's a bit cold. When the sun goes down, it gets cold. Okay, so as you know, iPhones don't have the best nighttime video or the best nighttime photos in the world that goes to the google pixel to me with the night sight but you know why not give it a go let's go to 108060 okay so now we are in 1080 60 frames a second now you'll notice right now that as we've gone up to 60 frames as it's doing more frames i personally think that it's um you know blocking out most of the light because if you compare it to the 30 frames like you'll be able to see a lot more but for some weird reason going to 60 frames it kind of kills all the light really so that's a bit disappointing okay let's go to 4k video now okay we are at 4k 24 frames a second look at that sunset over there it's like 10 20 p.m yeah so 4k 24 frames a second now bit choppy but we'll see how good this stabilization is because my hands are shaking a bit because it's cold <laughs> excuses so yeah 4k 24 ain't bad ain't bad let's go to 4k 30 okay we're at 4k 30 frames a second light's actually really good now i think it's just like when you go to higher res higher frame rate it gets a bit weird i don't even know why have to ask an apple employee um yeah so it looked pretty good in the dark so far detail on the grass let's have a look at that you lose pretty much all detail now that you go with no when there's no light you pretty much lose all the detail in the world okay so yeah let's go to 4k 60. okay we're at 4k 60 resolution it is outside it's outside i'm tired i want to go in so we're gonna get this done with soon okay so 4k 60 now yep so that's pretty much it let me test the front facing camera hi right, guys we're in portrait mode 1080p 
30 frames, 30 frames a second front facing camera. That's a bit of glare going on there. Okay, nice in the background. Not bad video at all, not bad. 1080, 30 frames a second. Let's get that in the background. It's not doing bad actually, considering it's night time. Older iPhones are a bit worse, but let's bear in mind, we have got these lights going on. So yeah, that is, um, that does kind of give it, you know, a bit of an advantage, but there is lights going on, but you know, so bear that in mind. But if you, you know, remove these lights, then obviously it's going to be a lot worse, but you know. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's all for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications so you can be the first to watch my upcoming videos on my Dell laptop that I just bought, the XPS 15. That's coming up in the next week or two. Hope you enjoyed this video. Put a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you in the next one.